Hi everybody and welcome back to Cook and Cheer. This is episode 6 in our slow cooker series and today we're doing up some slow cooker chili. I really love this on weekends or a cold winter day and it's especially great because it lasts a few days. So let's get started. What I've got here is about, oh I'd say a pound and a half of ground beef. And if you want your chili a little heartier and a little meatier, simply add a little more. If you want it soupier, add a little less. So I'm just going to add this to a pan and fry it just until it begins to brown, about like this. You don't want to overcook it. And of course, if you have any excess fat, you're going to want to drain that off. Okay, so now I'm going to add the ground beef to the slow cooker, followed by the stewed tomatoes. Now we actually have a recipe for these, and if you want to make them from scratch, I'll put a link below. Followed by the kidney beans. Uh, you can use just about any type of kidney beans you want, as long as they're red kidney beans. And I should add, just make sure they're drained too. The mushrooms. Now I usually use um, fresh mushrooms, but I have a bit of difficulty locating them, so I'm just using canned mushrooms today. The celery. Red bell peppers. You can use green if you like, but I really like the red. They give it that nice sweetness. Of course, the onions. Now we're going to begin adding in the spices, starting with the chili powder. And of course, you can alter the amount of spices depending on your taste. I always get the comment, how much spice do I use? Or how much of the ingredients do I use? And of course, you can head over to cookandshare.com for that. Next, the cumin. Now you can leave the cumin out, but I like the taste of it. Some red pepper flakes just for an extra kick. And as with the cumin, you can leave these out as well. You don't like your chili hot. The garlic. And this is just two or three cloves. Half a teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'll just take my spoon and I'm just going to mix this up until everything is nicely combined. Now you're probably saying to yourself, this looks a little dry, and it is, so what I'm going to do is add one of my all-time favorites is spaghetti sauce. Now you don't have to use this, you can simply use some water, but I really like this. Okay, so now I'm just going to give this a mix, just so everything's well combined again. And this is looking just about perfect, look at this. So what I'm going to do is slip a lid on this and turn the slow cooker to low. And we're going to leave this cook for, I'd say, seven or eight hours. But what I usually do is check it after four hours. If it's a little dry, I add a little more water. So we'll see you in four hours when we check it. So we reached the four hour point and this smells absolutely delicious. The whole house is filled with the aroma of chili. You might be thinking, oh my goodness, seven, eight hours, that's a long time for chili to cook. Well, if you're in a hurry, you can simply turn the slow cooker up to high and cook it for four hours. But in this case, we're going to do the long cook, so let's take a look at our chili. And look at this. This is just about perfect. It's got a really nice consistency. It's cooking really well, so I'm just going to give this a stir. And slip the lid back on. And we'll allow this to cook for another three or four hours. So we'll see you then. After a total of about seven hours, our chili is nicely done. So I'm just going to scoop it into a bowl and we'll give it a taste. I have to say, and I'm not lying here, this is one of the best chilies I've ever tasted. It's nicely spiced, it has a great consistency, and the tomato sauce gives it a bit of sweetness. So I hope you give this chili a try, it really is super delicious. Head on over to cookandshare.com for more easy recipes, and don't forget to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.